from Farmers Branch City Hall. Hello everyone and welcome to Council Countdown, where if you give us just a few minutes, we're going to bring you a rundown of everything you need to know for the next City Council meeting agenda. I'm Tom Bryson with this Council Countdown for the upcoming City Council meeting of Tuesday, March 1st, 2016. First up, after ceremonial items and a report on study session, members of the Council will consider items placed on the consent portion of the agenda. As you know, consent items are items to be considered with action taken that may not need individual explanation or discussion during the meeting. There are six items on the March 1st consent agenda. Agenda item F1 is to consider approval of the minutes of the regular City Council meeting of February 16th, 2016. Item F2 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-024 authorizing the purchase of replacement cubicles and office furniture for the Public Works Department in the total amount of $51,256.74 from Wilson Office Interiors through the State of Texas Multiple Award Schedule. The Public Works 2015-2016 Operating Budget Fund includes a replacement of department cubicles and office furniture as part of the City Hall renovation project. As such, the City requested a quotation from the State of Texas Multiple Award Schedule. Administration evaluated the quotations and desires to award the purchase of the replacement cubicles and office furniture to Wilson Office Interiors. Public Works 2015-16 operating budget has allocated $90,000 for this purpose. CD administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-024. Agenda item F3 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-028, awarding the bid for the reconstruction of a section of the retaining wall along Cooks Creek to Cam Creek Construction Incorporated. A retaining wall failure occurred along Cooks Creek Drainage Channel located north of Bowwood Parkway and east of Josie Lane. The project involves a replacement of approximately 150 feet of a concrete retaining wall. The wall failed because it had not been designed to retain additional soil placed on private property immediately adjacent to the wall by the property owner several years after its original construction. The 2015-2016 Stormwater Utility Fund will provide the funding for the reconstruction of this section of the Cooks Creek Retaining Wall. Four bids were received and opened on February 9th, all bids meeting specifications. The low bid was received from Cam Creek Construction in the amount of $72,000. Cam Creek has provided adequate qualifications for the project, and City Administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-028. Item F4 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-030, awarding a contract to Fuquay Incorporated for sanitary sewer main cleaning and inspection through the local government purchasing cooperative by board contract. The Public Works Department is taking proactive steps to avoid potential breaks and stoppages by cleaning and televising large diameter pipelines in the city sanitary sewer system. There are three areas to be cleaned and televised with this contract. The first is along the Farmers Branch Creek sewer main between Josie Lane and Denton Drive. The second along Farmers Branch Creek sewer main from Woodhaven Drive to Marsh Lane. And the third area is along the Rawhide Creek sewer main between Coral Harbor and Marsh Lane. The 2015-16 Capital, Capital Improvement Program Non-Bond Utility Fund provides $125,000 for sanitary sewer cleaning and inspection. I will get through it. The Public Works Department negotiated a discounted cooperative purchasing contract with Fuquay Incorporated for this contract in the amount of $124,342. Fuquay has completed similar projects in the past for the city. This item supports the city's core value to provide functional, sustainable, and well-maintained infrastructure, facilities, and equipment. City Administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-030. Agenda item F5 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-025, rejecting the bid of Zenner Performance Meters and awarding the 2015-2016 annual supply of small water meters in a unit price purchase to Mueller Systems, LLC. The Public Works Department requested bids for the 2015-2016 annual supply of small water meters. Bids were prepared using estimated quantities and are awarded on a unit price basis. The proposed contract is for a one-year period with an option of a one-year renewal period if agreeable by both parties. Funds are available in the 15-16 Public Works Operating Budget and the Utilities Capital Improvement Program for the purchase of small water meters needed throughout the city. Now, two bids were opened, uh, received and opened on February 3rd. Zenner Performance Meters submitted the lowest unit price bid in the amount of $92,938.50. However, Zenner's meter does not meet specifications. Mueller Systems LLC submitted the second lowest bid in the amount of $97,747.40. 
Mueller Systems has supplied the city with Hersey meters in the past and has met with satisfactory performance. City administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-025. And agenda item F6 is to consider approving resolution number 2016-029, adopting the city's 2016 strategic plan. On January 21st, the City Council and City Administration came together for the 2016 City Council Planning Retreat. As a result of this meeting, the City's guiding principles and goals were established and comprised the proposed 2016 Strategic Plan. In 2007, City Council and City Administration engaged in the first City Council Planning Retreat that resulted in the creation of a strategic planning process to serve as a guide to accomplishing the City's mission. Since that time, the City Council conducts an annual retreat to provide guidance and develop goals that will enable the city to successfully pursue its mission. The guiding principles framed by the council in conjunction with city administration and the accompanying goals are what make up the city's strategic plan. Once adopted, this plan will become the guide for departmental projects and the framework for the budgeting process. The plan will be revisited during the fiscal year 2017 budget process to ensure funding priorities aligned with strategic priorities. City Administration recommends approving resolution number 2016-029. And that was it for the consent agenda. Here are the rest of the uh, rest of the items before the council in their regular session at this upcoming meeting. Agenda item G1 is to conduct a public hearing and consider adopting ordinance number 3359 to change the zoning of an approximately 268-acre uh, tract from plan development number 88 to plan development number 99. And agenda item H1 is to consider adopting ordinance number 3360, amending chapter 66 of the City of Farmers Branch Code of Ordinances related to solid waste and recycling. The council may recess into closed session, but then will reconvene into regular session to take any necessary action. And that will do it for the March 1st agenda. Every regular meeting of the Farmers Branch City Council can be seen live right here on FBTV. That is Time Warner Cable Channel 16 in Farmers Branch. AT&T U-verse Channel 99 throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex are online at www.farmersbranchtx.gov. This City Council information program will be made available simultaneous to agenda posting on the Friday before each regular City Council meeting and will air prior to all Council meeting replays as well as before the live meeting here on FBTV. That replay schedule is at 6 p.m. seven days a week. In the meantime, the March 1st meeting of the City Council starts at 6 p.m. Tuesday evening here at Farmers Branch City Hall. We hope to see you here. Until then, for everyone here in the studio, I'm Tom Bryson. You're watching City Council Countdown on FBTV. From everyone here at the City Farmers Branch, we'll see you next time.